Hospital and the burn unit here in San Francisco. I also work in, at San Leandro Hospital in San Leandro. I've been a respiratory therapist for 20 years. Um, <laughs> so it's really uh, upsetting to me because every healthcare worker that's dining with Nancy Pelosi and Scott Wiener tonight should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> We celebrated all the healthcare workers during COVID, and now we're killing them in Palestine. Absolutely not. And so we need to send a message to all the politicians, everybody, that they mess with the wrong fucking healthcare workers. Rami Ibrahim, and um, I'm with the Palestinian Youth Movement. And there are people here today. What's going on here at the Academy of Science in San Francisco? So the San Francisco Marin Medical Society is hosting uh, their annual gala here today. Um, they're having Senator Scott Weiner and Representative Nancy Pelosi here, um, two of the um, largest political hacks for Israel and the Zionist state. Um, Meanwhile, uh, Nancy Pelosi is taking $13 million out of the streets of San Francisco, um, straight to Israel, to drop bombs on hospitals and doctors. And, I mean, there are a lot of homeless people in San Francisco. People can't get health care, yet it seems like there are billions more for the war in, in Gaza. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're able to write blank checks um, to Israel and to fund and support genocide. Um, in addition to that, you're seeing um, 
hundreds of billions of dollars go to Ukraine, um, and they're able to pull that right out of their back pocket, but not are not able to fund basic needs um, and healthcare services for the people in the city who live here and struggle every single day. And this this genocide that's going on in Gaza, the pogrom that's going on in the West Bank, it seems like the United States is accomplices and directly responsible for these war crimes. Absolutely. I mean, you see um, the other day uh, the House wanted to pull $17 billion out um, to provide weapons and funding for the Iron Dome to Israel. Um, all of these uh, resources coming straight from the United States are literally funding the 600 massacres that have gone on on every single hospital in the Gaza Strip. No hospital in Gaza is, is functioning. Um, we've seen over 400 doctors and nurses and healthcare workers in Gaza um, be killed and targeted. I think yesterday actually a nurse in Gaza was sniped um, in the operating room. And this is exactly uh, where our money in the United States is going. It's directly funding the massacres um, that are happening um, in Palestine and not only in Gaza, but in the West Bank as well. And, and President Biden has said it's over the top. Biden is saying what's going on uh, in Palestine is over the top because he's funding all of it. Um, none of this would be um, possible or feasible. Uh, for Israel if they didn't have the backing of the United States. So um, any of that over the top, over the topness is, um, is directly provided by Biden and other Democrats. And there are actions all over the United States, all over the world protesting that. There's a movements, uh, pro this protest here today. What is going to take, what's it going to take? I mean, because a lot of people are, are angry and, and, and furious about this. Yeah, I think everyone's asking that question. You know, we've been in the streets. People have blocked the entire Bay Bridge. People are engaging in mass scale civil disobedience as a rate, at a rate that we haven't seen in this country for decades. Um, and I think we're all asking the question of what is this going to take? And at the end of the day, it's beyond a ceasefire. It's ending all U.S. aid to Israel. It's ending the siege on Gaza that has been there for 17 years. We know now that our president is not willing to call for a ceasefire, so we need to push even harder for stronger things, um, which is ending the occupation in Palestine, because we know that this situation, that this genocide is going to happen every three years, that the Nakba that has been happening for 75 years and has never ended because of the United States uncompromising support for Israel and the continuation of the brutal occupation of Palestinian lands. And we will never see a situation um, like this if, uh, the, when the occupation continues. And Nancy Pelosi, Congresswoman Pelosi, has said that, that there should be an investigation. The Russians and the, and the Chinese are behind what's going on. What, what is that all about? Uh, Democrats love to use um, Russia and China as a cover. Yeah! Yeah!